Okay, so I have my corner pieces drying. Okay, to finish out the trim, we have a couple of things that we need to do. So, the wood paneling laminate that we put on the walls, I'm also going to use some of it for trim, so I bought some trim, but it has the, we're going to put it along the edge of the desktop and vertical along the seam on the wall. So what I need to do is build me a little corner block so I can put three pieces coming together and it's easier. So let me show you what I've done. So I've cut my approximately one inch trim pieces at 45 degrees. I'm going to make a little box and fold this together. So I've also beveled the ends so I can put a little top on it and it'll be, appear to be seamless. So here's how this works. So now it took me about 20 minutes to figure out how to hit, cut these exactly to get them approximately one inch in thickness. This is more of a delicate operation, so I have some hair bands, and I'm going to put these on here, double strength, so we can get these slide down. This is a little trim piece and we're only making this because we're going to cut off about an inch, maybe an inch and a half on each end to use as our two trim pieces on the bottom. I had to bevel these on four sides and this is going to go inside here so it'll fit and we'll glue it like that. So that looks like a complete solid piece of wood our little post and we'll trim it to length to fit our corner. So it takes a while when you have to cut all four corners or all four sides at a 45 degree angle. So it's a little bit of a learning process and you got to keep your fingers away from it and that's part of the trick. Here's the corner block in place. I have trimmed it to about one and a half quarter one and a half inches it fits nicely into the corner I'm adjusting it to see which side looks best facing forward and which side will be flush up against the wall then I'll come along and brad nail it into the corner for a nice fit one side nailed And the other side nailed, and we're good to go with the trim. Here we go, our final installation, putting in the trim work. We've got our little corner boxes 
nailed in. And we're going to start with this. On the wall, we have a little USB plug down here. We have an electrical outlet plug to go for the wine cooler that'll go under here. A little trim touch up on the paint, and we're okay. In an attempt to give a finished look, we're going to attempt to make a complete face plate out of our wood laminate so I'll put a template in here we'll attempt to cut that out see how it works And now we're going to work on doing the outlet cover. Since we have the paneling, which was about three-eighths of an inch thick, we need to bring the outlet out a little bit so we can get the face plate cover on it. So this is what it looks like. Here's our outlet. If you look into the edge there, we have the top part is where it can just come out a little bit. The bottom part's covered by the cut. So we're gonna come in here and recut this so we can bring out the outlet so the face plate will be able to cover it. All right, I think we got enough to see how it works. So this is the finish of our face plate for our plug and over here we have the finished for our USB outlet. So if you like this video be sure and give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing down below and come back and see us real soon.